Home Depot put up a tweet. Yeah. Mm. Describe this tweet, Sasha All right, Sam. the tweet is, you know how there's like dudes that play uh, uh, like buckets as drums? Like in the subway. Yeah, right. Yeah. All right. So there's uh, two guys playing orange Home Depot buckets, and then in the middle, there's a big monkey. What? The, the tweet says, which drummer is not like the others? Wow. See more. Hashtag college game day. Picks at some, you know, Home Depot game day. Wait, that's HD not racist. Gimmick. Why is that racist? A monkey playing a drum with two other guys <laughs> playing a drum. Oh, I forgot to mention the two guys are black. Oh, hold on. Bam. Hold on. It looks crazy. Yo, there's no LOL, oh. JK, no. nothing. Home, Home Depot. Home Depot, the Home Wait, Depot tell me Twitter. the story again. Two they're, guys they're are playing a, they look drum like they're buckets. On a, they look like they're on a college football field. Mm -hmm. They're playing orange Home Depot buckets. Okay. Everybody knows these buckets from Home Depot. Which drummer is not like the others? There's two black guys on the left and right side, and in the middle is a monkey See, playing See, until, until you told me about the right. black guys, it wasn't racist. Right. No, it's that's a problem that, now. That's what makes it racist. Either. And they both... Both the dudes are looking away like, why is there a monkey <laughs> sitting next to us? Home Depot did Dude, apologize. What? They did apologize. For this. But who sent that out? Who thinks... By the way, hold on. It's not That's a, cool. It, it, I just have to help you out. It's not a real monkey in the middle. It's a man and a monkey. It's oh, a yeah. mascot. But still. Yeah. Oh, but yeah, it's but it's the ma it's college game day. Shut so up. It's a mascot, guys. But why? It's which bad. drummer is different, though? Because one's in a mask. Why they have to? No, the question is why are both guys black? If it was a black guy, a white guy, and the monkey suit, you're fine. I didn't even until I heard that it was two black dudes. It wasn't racist to me. But maybe people <laughs> don't understand that black people are sensitive about being called monkeys because exactly. you effing racist been running that for a couple hundred years. Exactly. Yeah, I think they people might have forgot. They might have forgotten just did it, or they were, or they were. That's racist. Yeah. Well, yes. guess who just reminded them? You did. Black Twitter, because Home Depot is scrambling right now. Well, there you go. That was pretty bad. A buddy I know just dropped a book um, about professional wrestling. And in that book, he has one chapter about um, racism within wrestling. Some of the most racist things you will ever hear in life happened in professional wrestling during the 1980s. You remember Ooh. this time? Oh, this is when I was watching Junkyard mm -hmm. Dog, Jimmy yeah. Superfly, Snooker. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad snake, you mentioned Jake the Snake. I'm glad you mentioned Tugboat. I'm glad Tugboat. Oh my God. I'm glad you mentioned Coco Beware. Oh, Coco <laughs> Beware. Good one. Because in this book, he talks about some of the most racist things that happened, like Mr. Fuji, who used to throw around terms like yard ape and lawn jockey. Mm. Wait, he, Mr. Fuji could barely speak English. Even though he was a racist Japanese character who could barely speak English, he managed to get those words out. His protege, Don Morocco, who once called Pedro Morales a dirty Mexican pepper belly. Whoa! <laughs> well, what about the way they used to describe Tito Santana sometimes as either a Mexican wetback or an ignorant garbage picker? That's Whoa. racist. <laughs> then Jesse, like it. Jesse the Body Ventura, <laughs> Jesse the Body Ventura, who's now, of course, a politician and, and someone everyone knows, he used to talk about Junkyard Dog during JYD's interviews, describing him as, quote, speaking like he had a mouthful of grits. Whoa. What? You know what? He also said that Tito Santana should have been called Chico, and his finisher was called the Flying Burrito. <laughs> they called Coco Beware. He called Coco Beware Buckwheat. <laughs> <laughs> Until Vince yeah. McMahon had to tell him, Yo, you can't do that. If they bring this back to wrestling... Then you're in. I'm watching again. Yo, the but, 80s was so much better. Uh, <laughs> yo. <laughs> so foul. I, uh, if you want to check out this book, it's a dope book. It's called The Squared Circle, Life and Death in Professional Wrestling. It's out now. It's pretty awesome. And let's close with this audio. Uh, Saif, you remember the wrestling manager Slick? Yes. He was a black 70s looking bro, yeah. if you will, wore a, a suit. Here's some audio of Slick. This doesn't sound too racist. As a matter of fact, I can dance so good that I could be Michael Jackson dancing, oh. brother. And you guys won't even let me eat my yard bird in peace. <laughs>